as a production sound mixer, I really enjoy working in the field of live television. It's one of the things that just really gets my blood flowing. The, the thrill of all of these people watching your work live. You don't get a do-over. You don't get a take-two. So it's important that you really be plugged in and on your game the whole time and stay focused. And one of the areas that is critically important for the production sound mixer is the IFB, or Interruptible Foldback. There are a number of reasons you as a production sound mixer want to hear the IFB. One, you want to make sure it's still connected. These things happen. They are phone calls. They are cell phones oftentimes if you're in the field. The calls drop. Somebody repatches and hangs up on you. And you want to know this immediately so that you can deal with it, and not right before you go on the air when everybody's trying to check in. Uh, you, I feel that I'm part of the conversation as the mixer. And I want to know the ebb and flow of the conversation itself. If somebody's going to ask a question that is going to elicit an angry response or a guffaw, I'd like to be proactive and not reactive. And this is just for simple talking head. If Obviously, if you have three or four people, you really need to be engaged and know who's talking to who and who's doing what and where each question is going. Another reason is you want to make sure that the mix minus is still intact. So a mix minus is nothing more or less than basically program audio minus each correspondent's voice. So if you have five guests on a, on a live show, then you have five mix minus mixes. Each one is the mix of everybody else but themselves. I kind of think of it as kind of a monitor mix for a rock band on stage where you have each, each band member ha has their own mix that they like. Well, in the case of live TV, each correspondent or guest doesn't want their own voice in the, uh, their ear because there's a delay and it's very disconcerting to have that. The mix minus seems to elicit way too much confusion, way more than it should. In the field, if you're the remote person, there's nothing you can do about the mix minus. It's the studio deal, period. If you don't have a mix minus, it's on them. No matter how much they look at you, how time they, they just glare at you, <laughs> it's not you. The mix minus has to be done in the studio, usually in New York. I had an anchor in the field once that uh, we were all checked in, faxed out, mix minus, everything was fantastic. An hour long show. Um, roll the music, boom, he starts talking, mix minus is gone. I can see his expression, I can hear the delay in, in my reference of, uh, of the IFB. Immediately grabbed the IFB fader, pulled it down, called the producer over and, and told her, uh, that we had a problem with the mix minus and she was able to get New York on the phone and get the mix minus solved while I rode the level with an anchor it's actually kind of important because you have they have producers who jump in their ear while they're talking so you you kind of have to really be on your game if that situation developed we got through uh, the first five minutes and as you know in TV the a block is a long block but mix minus was fixed I was able to tell it was fixed, brought the IFB back up totally in his ear, moved on. He really never really knew what happened and just, just did the show. There are a lot of great equipment options out there to, to fulfill your IFB needs. I'm really not talking about the gear in this. I'm talking about the philosophies. And if your situation is that the, the people who are live need to be moving about, then RF is a fantastic thing. RF IFBs, RF body mics, handhelds, whatever the show happens to be. But if they're not, if it's in a fixed position, then use hard wires. Alleviate one possible avenue of failure. If you don't need to be RF, then don't. If you do, fantastic, use the RF. Oftentimes I have fixed positions on a set and I'll have um, RF IFBs out for producers, for camera people. Sometimes guests will come up to the sound cart and uh, they'll want to listen in before they go on set, which is, is fantastic. Uh, again, think in terms of worst case scenario and plan accordingly.